All right, folks. So today we're going to be discussing my arch nemesis, which is inch and a half metal drains, whether that be cast iron or galvanized or copper. Well, I've never snaked an inch and a half copper drain, but this is in regards to specifically bathtub drains that are inch and a half. Snaking an inch and a half ABS or PVC drain, no problem. But when it comes to cast iron or galvanized, it's very difficult. And I have kinked many a cable trying to snake bathtub drains that are galvanized or cast iron. And as a matter of fact, I've gone to several jobs where I had to call the landlord or tell the owner, I can't get the cable to go down. But through that experience, I have learned what works and what doesn't work. And after we discuss this, I'm going to go snake <laughs> an inch and a half drain that I have kinked the cable on before. So um, I know there's a debate about our drain cleaners, plumbers, and blah, blah, blah. So I don't think drain cleaners are plumbers. But I think some plumbers do drain cleaning, and that's my take on it. Um, okay, so why are inch and a half bathtub drains that are galvanized or cast iron so hard to snake? Well, with galvanized, the majority of the time the traps are called derm traps. If you Google it, you'll see that the that the uh, the U bend is very. Um, it's very u -y. <laughs> it's very u-shaped and it's not like let's see do i have a p-trap in here yeah, i do i don't want to pull it out it, it's not like your new style p-traps where they're kind of spaced apart and the cables just slide right through it's not how it's not how those are so when you come across one of those here's my method of snaking this has changed in the last couple months. I used to always start off with my rigid, what is that, the K, K45 with 5 16 cable. I used to always start out with that, but I, I no longer do. I always start off with this, which is quarter inch, and it's relatively flexible. Um, much more flexible than the 5 16 cable. So I always start off by going in with this. If this starts to kind of kink, going through the P-trap, your next best bet is gonna be, oh man, this freaking thing fell down. Your next best bet is gonna be this guy right here, which I haven't even used at this point. I've, I've, I used to have one of these, but I, I kinked the cable. Um, they're like 30 bucks, so it's not that big of a deal. But this right here, very similar. I hook it to my drill. It's very similar to that. The only difference with this guy is that uh, the cable is extremely, extremely flexible. And... If you're very careful with that one, you can get it to go through. But the downside with that one is that if the clog is really tough, that has a hard time getting it out because the cable is just so pliable and just bendy and yeah. So that's why this seems to be the best because this is a middle ground between that that's a quarter inch that's a quarter inch it's a middle ground between that quarter inch and this 5 16th right here now on my dura cable machine which i love you have the option i can't pull this out but you have the option that's a uh, quarter inch drum 35 feet you have the option to switch it out and guy work with me here and I've actually not 
used these yet. But I have <laughs> I have two other cables. So this one it has this weird kind of drop head thing. I've actually used this on a, what's called an LA trap. And those, the U bends on the LA traps are very, very hard to get a cable through. But I've actually, with a handheld snake, similar to that one, it's actually the general one, I've gotten this to go through pretty good, pretty easily. So I've yet to try this, but I would put that in that quarter inch drum so that that's just a, a a backup plan because I told myself I'm never gonna go to a job and not get it again so that's why I have all of this and then I got this one it's a drop head cable hollow core and um, it's very very flexible so this, this will be a good option. Now the cable I have in here, that right there, that's called a, um, it's not a hollow core. That's a um, inner core cable by General. And quite frankly, I've used that a couple times. That thing is so stiff and so rigid, I cannot get that to go by a uh, inch and a half galvanized P-trap. I just can't. I've tried it multiple times. It just does not work. I don't know why I still have it in there. But um, but I think this cable, although I've yet to use it, if I ever have any major issues with this or with that, this is going to be the end-all, be-all. The, the thing I didn't like about this cable, the one I just showed you, is that the little, head, the little auger head on it, it's just kind of not, I don't like it. it. Well, it's not that I don't like it. It just, when, when I did successfully get that one through an inch and a half P-trap, I had to do it three or four times because the thing just doesn't grab hair very well. So, but that's, that's my, um, that's my thought process. And that's what my go-to for inch and a half P-traps on bathtubs specifically. Um, one last thing. So right now I have a brass craft 5 16 cable in here that's hollow core, but it's, it's really stiff. And um, it's great for sink drains, but the thing is so stiff. It's just, you cannot get it past an inch and a half P-trap. You can't, I've tried. Um, but Gorlitz makes a hollow 516 hollow core cable that is quite flexible and I have gotten that through inch and a half p-traps before but um, that's difficult as well so all right let's go do it That didn't even get past the P-trap. That's just in the trap. Okay, 
we got the water to go down. Snake it a couple more times. Got a little more out, but uh, I got it to go with this. I've had trouble with this one before with this, but I was just really feathering the trigger and going nice and slow, taking my time, and I got it to go. No problem. I thought for sure I was gonna have to use that. Still brand new. All right. Good now. That's it.